Hi, welcome to the Hello Darling Show. My name is Barbara McNaught and I will be introducing very special people with very special stories to you. Our special guest today is Giulio De Lafitte, the founder of the JDL Strategies. Hello, darling. Hello, Barbara. And welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Giulio, you were born in Brazil. Yes. What made you come to Australia? I, um, I, I went to a Rotary dinner and I met this most beautiful girl. And um, I failed English every year of high school. And so I have no language to tell her that I wanted to see her. So I got a friend of mine to translate it. And uh, she gave me her number and I saw her every day after that. Uh, we managed to, I don't know, to keep talking. And then I kept asking her to be my girlfriend and she kept saying, no, no. And I said, why not? She goes, well, what's the point of falling in love with a Brazilian boy and then go back to Australia and be heartbroken? So two weeks before she left, I disappeared. When she flew into Cairns where she lived, I was at the airport waiting. And I said, what are you gonna do now? So I came to Australia because I'm an international stalker. You know, I came for love. You came for love? And what made you stay in Australia? I um, basically then, uh, when I first got here, um, I started to realize how good of a country Australia really, really is. Like, really is. See, my parents are Europeans. My mom is French, my father's Portuguese. My father's a big businessman in Brazil. Like, massive. And um, so I was being raised to take on um, my dad's uh, businesses. And Brazil has two or maybe three economies you could. The rich are rich in Brazil, right? So I had no idea what to expect from Australia, what I would find here. But when I got here, I realized it's a young country going places. Uh, the opportunities were coming at me. Mm -hmm. you know. And um, I just came to check this girl and I thought I'll be here for a while. And, even take her back to Brazil. But the more I look into it, the better I realize how good Australia really is as a country. So we've been here now for 22 years and it's been a ride. It's been an incredible, incredible ride. May I ask you, Julia, if your company, JDL, yourself, you are giving back. You are giving back to community since JDL is the naming sponsor of the annual Men in Black Ball in support of men's mental health, fight against depression, why did you choose this cause? Is there any special personal story attached to it? Look, there's two conversations occur to me. Number one is, um, I was in a, a few years back, I was on the top of my game. Because I don't have only JDL as, as, as my business, I have a few other businesses. So the idea sometimes is to create a concept, a channel distribution for it, create a business around it, get other parties involved, uh, create a solid fundamental business, get other partners, and make some money. Cool? And I was in the top of my game. The capitalization of one of my business was going extremely well. Things were really good. But I noticed one day that I got into my office, and internally I felt like sand, as if inside I was made of sand. I, I can't put it any other way. Almost as if for a silver taste in my mouth. Now people say, what's that, what's this? And, and emotionally, I started feeling detached. You know, I thought, you know, maybe I'm tired, I need some other vitamins. And the reality is, I'm on the top of my game. My, my, my companies are going well, no issues at home, and you know, and people like. And then I started to realize, to notice, that I was actually feeling sad, mm -hmm. right? And I thank God that I got talking. I started saying to people, hello, this is happening to me. And quickly I realized that there are amazing organizations, amazing organizations, and how often men don't talk about these things. How they think it's, no, I'm, 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 uh, you know, I'm, I'm being fragile if I don't say something. I'm not being man enough. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that um, there are communications about, hey man, it's not about that at all. It's what, let's do a check, let's find out what's going on, right? And then, of course, I, uh, I met your cause and I realized that you are big on communicating and saying to guys, it's okay. It's okay to talk about it. It's okay to be on about it. And I gotta tell you, um, it's because I identified early enough. I, I, I talked to people early enough. Some people say to me, oh, you didn't, you know, you didn't go in. You didn't really were not depressed. Thank God, mm -hmm. you know? 
um, because I reckon I got help early, early, early days rather than trying to drag, you know, uh, through and try to endure it. And just sometimes it's a combination of um, some simple strategies, you know, and outlooks just to get you back on track, mm -hmm. you know. And um, so it's an honor and a privilege for me to know that, you know, people from all walks of life, all, all endeavors, being able to gather together to hear what's going on, uh, for ministers to be involved, and to get, the, to get the word out. And so I would like to congratulate you for, 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 for doing that, you know, Wonderful. and allowing me to come and play. Julia, thank you so much for your wonderful, positive energy and, and amazing stories. I could listen to you forever. I hope you come back to Hello Darling Show again. As a closure for the viewers that are with us today, what would you say as a goodbye sentence? I would say, Barbara, life is good, so let's live it. That's what I wanted to hear. Julia, thank you for joining Hello Darling and wishing you all the best. Thank you, Barbara, for having me. Thank you. Thank you very much for being part of the Hello Darling show today. I hope you enjoyed it and had a great time. We're looking forward to seeing you very soon. Bye-bye, darlings.